Hello, uh, so from today onwards we are going to start our online classes. So the topic for our online class is Databoard. Now the symbol which used to implement or the symbol which tells that it's a database using this symbol which is on your screen. Next now next is the database concept okay let's uh, uh, before talking a database concept we need to know the definition of database so definition of database is very simple a uh, database is an organized collection of related data database is an organized collection of related data means the data are been are in stored in an organized manner. I think you must know know that your class teacher used to maintain your database, whether it in a register or it in a computer. But your class teacher used to maintain your database, where they used to store your name, your parents' name, your date of birth, your gender, your CUI number, your other number, and all. So, database is an organized collection of related data means it's a storage where data can be stored. Okay. Now, by data, we mean known facts that can be recorded and that have an implicit meaning. Means a data is a thing that can be recorded and that have an implicit meaning, such as let's talk about your class database every student has their name yes everyone has your name everyone has their parents name mother name father name everyone has a gender whether male female everyone have a other card most of you have a other card most of you have a coi or your parents coi coi number most of you have a date of birth so by data we mean to we mean known facts mean the fact that can be recorded later on i'll give a different example for this okay that have an implicit meaning mean data have some meaning it may not give the clear meaning but it may have some meaning so example of database, I think you must heard about this other database where the product, uh, sorry, um, where the people holding other card have their record in this other database, their personal details such as the name, address, their parents name, uh, their eye scan, their fingerprint and Next is CBSC database. The CBSC also used to maintain a database. In class 9, you have given your details for your CBSC registration. So those details will be stored by the CBSC. Next is Facebook database. Facebook also maintain their database. Whatsoever you post or upload or insert in a Facebook it will be stored in a Facebook database next is bank database bank also maintain their database their employee database means those person who are working in bank and their customer database means the customer those who are uh, taking their services from their bank such as in customer database you can have your name, your gender, your date of birth, your other number, your account type, your balance details and all. Next is school and university database. And school or university also maintain their database. Their employee database means those who are working for school or university and the students database also. The student, those who are studying or 
taking services from the university okay so here are a few example now see you can see teacher details out here name designation blood group address contact number next student database you can see first name of student second name of date of birth father's name father first name mother name next you can see a bank database in bank database name of customer gender other number account type account number and balance in your account so this uh, i have taken uh, example next you can see a uh, product details or a uh, phone details yes i think most of you know every phone belongs to some brand every phone has a model name every phone has a ram a rom yes every phone comes with some price every phone has their camera every phone operates some operates on some operating system and every phone runs with a battery okay so out here what you can see is those are data now see samsung m31 4gb 64gb 1499 these are data means it has some implicit meaning and those can be recorded in a database now again let's get to the first topic database is an organized collection of related data so now you can view it as a storage area where data are being stored okay by data we mean known facts hmm? the data which includes a known facts it may be virtual means imaginary we can create some known facts or it may be real life example such as your name your age your date of birth your gender your other number these are known facts and that can be recorded means those can be recorded and those have some implicit meaning okay so i think uh, this is our first class so that's it for today later on we will try to improve and and you can give a feedback which you didn't understand okay so thank you very much